texting, email, Zoom calls, FaceTime. Nowadays, it seems as though we can't communicate without technology. But what about good old fashioned letters? You remember pen, paper, envelopes, stamps. But when is the last time you actually wrote a letter or received one? 207's Beth McAvoy spoke with a woman from Maine who recently published a book trying to inspire more letter writing. I love to write letters and people love to get mail and people are afraid to write letters oftentimes uh, they worry about the handwriting they worry about what to say christine richard's first book can help with that it's called snail mail guide to cursive writing practice the other reason she decided to write it is to help kids with cursive writing they don't teach it in a lot of schools anymore and I think it's a shame for lots of reasons um, and a lot of other people think it's a shame. So I thought, you know, that would be a good way to combine the two. Um, if people want to improve the handwriting or want to learn cursive, uh, a lot of people, especially children who don't learn cursive, um, are not able to read it, which is a problem. And there are studies that prove that, you know, sometimes our thinking we can learn and process information better if we write about it, if we take our notes by hand, uh, that kind of thing. And we can solve problems of, that we have too sometimes if we just pull out a piece of paper and a pencil and sort of write about what's on our mind and process it that way. And I thought, if you do want to improve your handwriting and you don't know what to write about, well, you can always write a letter. So where did this love of letter writing, letter receiving start for you? It started when I was really quite young. I uh, wrote to my grandparents. Um, my, well, not by choice, really. My mother sat us down when we were young uh, to write thank you notes for gifts we received from the holidays. Uh, and I have a, a vivid memory sitting on the staircase and used the step above where I was sitting as a desk. And I remember thinking, wow, we can write something? And my mother had given us their address. And I was fascinated that we could take a piece of paper, you know, write something, seal it and put it on, an address on it. And that it would, they lived like five states away. So it was really quite interesting to me that it would work. Richards has pen pals all over the world. Many come to her from her website and her blog, Postmark 1206, which, like her book, encourages people to write more letters. I have a series called I Write Letters to Say because that's one of the big issues for people I don't know what to write about. So I often say, open your letter with an interesting line. One time I, I think I wrote, there's an icicle the size of a baseball bat hanging from my neighbor's roof. I write to a lot of my friends, a friend of mine who's a baker. I took a wrapping from a bag of flour that I had used and I unfolded it and used the back of it to, as stationery. She wrote back to me on a 50 pound bag uh, of flour, uh, the paper from that. So it was the best comeback. You can have a lot of fun with it. I think people get really nervous about writing letters, but I like to encourage them to, you know, not be so formal with it, to have some fun with it, and to just be creative. But why do you think people are so intimidated by writing? I think it's partly because we don't do enough of it. So I often use scratch paper. You know, I'm a big fan of that. Start on a piece of scratch paper, and if you don't know what to write about, think of the words that might come to mind as you're thinking about it. Write those down and then put those into sentences. That helps. And I think people think they need to be really funny or really, you know, have something amazing to say. And if you do, that's great. But if just everyday things are interesting to other people, it doesn't have to be some, you know, wild, crazy adventure that you went on and you want to write about. It can just be something that you saw. I write about the cat that I saw down the street, icicles hanging from windows. Just talk about your day. Think about it like a conversation from across the kitchen table. What would you say to someone? It's really that simple. What are some of the most powerful letters that you've received? When I first started my graphic design career, I did a poster and I was excited about it. And I sent it uh, to my grandfather and he wrote back to me and had said that in a letter that he had, at, when he worked at a um, newspapers in Chicago, but he wrote and said at one time he was interested in being a graphic designer. And of course he told me he was proud of me. So that was really special. I still have that letter. Have you been surprised at the interest from people in letter writing? 
Yeah, I think it's, you know, especially now with the pandemic, there's been a number of articles uh, in the New York Times and other publications, how letter writing has really taken off. Um, and I like to say letter writing is another way to spend time with people, especially now. But you know that that person took some time to think about you when they wrote the letter. And I know myself when I write, I think about the people I'm writing to and, it's, and you feel a little bit closer to them, you know, while you're writing. And then it's fun because when you go to the post office or the box down the street and you drop it in there, you know, I like to just imagine, you know, a few days from now, they're going to get it and, you know, what that's going to be like. And, and then when they do get it, it gives you something to talk about, which is nice. For those of you who now feel inspired to get out some stationery and start writing, but you don't really know where to begin, Richards says begin with a thank you letter. It doesn't have to be long, just a few sentences. For a link to her book, just head to the 207 section of our website. Is the idea of writing on the paper from a bag of flour just about the best thing you've heard this week? It's one of, for sure. <laughs> I for love sure. that. I used to love writing. You know, when you're a kid, there was something exciting about it yeah. and, and receiving one. And, and I think, yeah, she's right. It has fallen to the wayside. Yeah, it's a, it'd be a great tradition to bring back. It's, there's nothing better than receiving a letter. We may not like to write them. We all love to get them. <laughs>